In October 1947, at Muroc Desert Test Center in California, history is made by this aircraft, the XS-1, and its pilot, Captain Charles E. Yeager. This airplane and this pilot are about to be the first ever to fly faster than the speed of sound in level flight. A B-29 will take the XS-1 aloft and launch her at an altitude of about 35,000 feet. The XS-1 is not a military aircraft, but a flying research laboratory designed to test the effects of supersonic flight upon airplanes. It is powered by four rocket engines. Its weight empty is less than 5,000 pounds, but it carries 8,000 pounds of fuel. B-29s have done a lot of memorable things, but none of them ever before had a mission quite like this one. And no airplane ever did what the XS-1 is about to do. Tracking the sound barrier in level flight will be more than a spectacular feat. It will also give the Air Force valuable knowledge of the resources of new propulsive systems. Captain Yeager gets aboard the XS-1. It can't be a long flight he's going to have in the little aircraft. At full power, the flight can't last more than two and a half minutes. But it's going to be a fast one. Our crews are ready, too, to do the timing, the only possible method for timing aircraft at extremely high altitudes. There she goes, a big moment in a history-making flight. Now she's approaching the barrier. The speed of sound at 35,000 feet is 660 miles per hour. The really big moment. Through the sound barrier. The first time ever in level flight. For the first time, except in dives, a man has flown an airplane faster than the speed of sound. It earned Captain Yeager many honors. And the historic plane, the XS-1, earned a resting place in the Smithsonian Institution.